Welcome to our Dum 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 channel today we are seeing topic about will the internet crash at some point and do we need a plan B let's we start Danny Hillis is one of the earliest internet users. He registered the third domain name ever, think.com clutching a grey book about an inch thick on stage, Hillis described those early days. This is everyone who had an internet address in 1982, Hillis told the crowd at TED 2013 on Wednesday. It had your name address and phone number. You were actually listed twice, because it was also indexed by internet address. We didn't all know each other, but we all kind of trusted each other. The internet has expanded from connecting that small directory of people, to connecting all kinds of systems and things. No one really understands all the things it's being used for right now, Hillis says. And while a lot of attention is paid to protecting individual computers and networked systems, no one is really focused on protecting the internet itself. We're setting ourselves up for disaster, like we did with the financial system, says Hillis. What if there was an effective denial of service attack on the internet? Hillis asks. We don't know what would happen, and we don't have a plan B, we don't have a plan for how to communicate when the internet is in trouble. What Hillis imagines is a second network that could come online in case of emergency. It would use different protocols from the existing internet, and would be kept separate as much as possible. So when the internet goes down, police stations, hospitals and airports could still function. In the face of the billions of dollars that companies and governments face to lose if their swath of the internet is taken over by bad guys, to say nothing of the chaos that would occur with the wholesale shutdown of the internet, the few hundred million dollars it would cost to build Hillis Plan B seems like money well spent. It wouldn't be too hard to pull off technically, it's just a matter of focus and will. It's very hard to get people to focus on plan B, when plan A is working so well, Hillis says. There is a belief somebody must be on it, somebody is out worrying about this problem, but nobody really has responsibility for the whole thing. Hillis imagines that private industry would be willing to pony up to help fund the development of this backup network, and agree to subscribe to it as a service. Then we'll go build it, Hillis says. If you like this video subscribe our channel and share your valuable comments in comment box. Thanks for watching.